In order to build applications on the Terra blockchain, you need a bunch of tools, and those tools don't work very well on Windows. If you're on Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and skip this video, or if you've already developed before on a Linux system on Windows and you've got WSL set up, go ahead and skip it. Otherwise, we need to, as Windows users, install Windows Subsystem Linux. Otherwise, everything will just not, not make sense. As we develop, we'll try to follow the docs, things won't work, we'll try to find workarounds. It's just better to work with Windows Subsystem for Linux. So here we go, Let's. Uh, I'll pull up this link right here to the Microsoft docs. We'll see how to install Windows Subsystem Linux, which will basically have Linux running in Windows and be able to develop on that. So here's the manual installation step. I'm gonna copy this line into a PowerShell. And let's give it a go. Error, 740, all right, I need to use an elevated PowerShell. So I come to PowerShell, right click and click run as administrator. So I'll grab this command for PowerShell, paste it in there, that should set us up. We're now enabling Windows subsystem for Linux and this will take a minute. Great, now we do need to update to WSL2. So as it mentions here, I'm gonna check my version of Windows just to make sure that I, I mean, I, do, I have build 19041, or sorry, version 2004, and that's perfect. That's the one I need. So our versions are good, and we have to enable this feature here using another dism command. to enable virtual machines. And then finally, we will download the package here. So just again, follow the steps on this page in order to set up Windows Subsystem for Linux. I'll start that download. All right, completed successfully. Fire this up. It says this update only applies to machines with Windows Subsystem for Linux. All right, so I'm gonna restart my computer. All right, so I've restarted my computer. Head back into PowerShell here. Actually, I don't think I need PowerShell. What I need to do is run this install right here, WSL2 Linux kernel update package. So it's stuck in downloads get us ready to run Linux on Windows. And we want to set WSL2 to default version because it's actually still one, even though we've installed it as two. So here we go. WSL2 is now updated and now we get to install a Linux distro. So you can head to the Microsoft store in order to pick a Linux distribution. I'm gonna pick Ubuntu 18.04. So once that's done and you've clicked install from the Microsoft Store, this little window will pop up and Ubuntu 18.04 will actually be installing. Once it's done, we'll have Linux accessible on Windows so we can do development and follow all the docs that are intended for Mac and Linux users without any problem. All right, so now we have to create a default Unix user account. It doesn't have to match Windows, but I'm gonna make mine Wittgenstein and enter a password. Probably a little bit of overkill for password security. All right, there we go, successful. And now I've actually got Linux here. I can use Linux commands. If I uh, head up here and check things out, it's a Linux file system. And it's running as a subsystem on Windows. And uh, something else you want to install, if you haven't already, and this no matter what system you're running, is an editor like Visual Studio Code. I really recommend Visual Studio Code because it really works nicely with a bunch of extensions we'll be using and with Windows Subsystem for Linux. So now we're ready to continue and install Rust and everything we need in order to build Terra applications.